Yeah, you can get off tech chases too. If you do like, uh, I think down tilt, they're like dash attack, and then you like chase them. All right, we got base trend <laughs> versus uh, SBF using Diddy Kong. Actually, um, I don't know about this matchup from Luigi's side, but if I were to guess, I'd imagine Lucas Luigi's probably a horrible matchup yeah. based on like how Luigi's main problem in matchups is being able to get in, and Lucas can just like PK fire him away forever. So uh, you can't Diddy really Kong. fireball either because he'll just like yeah he'll absorb it yeah. and heal so. Yeah, opting go Diddy Kong in this matchup makes sense. Uh, starting off on uh, Tommy Diddy. Diddy. Uh, good for both characters. Uh, Diddy Kong has down to up smash. Lucas has down throw up air. Uh, so they both have kill confirms off the top. Also, uh, Lucas is up air is really is pretty strong. Oh, more near combos coming out from the Diddy. Mm -hmm. Nice to see them mix it up a little bit. See, the main thing besides how good a person is against Diddy Kong is uh, how they get like how they uh, handle the neutral when Diddy Kong has banana. Because like a lot of people just like rush in and get like lose neutral like repeatedly just because like Diddy Kong has the advantage of banana and they don't know what to do about it. What Zanoa was telling me is that uh, when you get Diddy Kong, you had to like pick an option and not like. You can't be like uh, scared. Like you can't like be like, oh, if I do this, I might get punished. Like let me like do a 50, like let me like short hop and then like see what happens. Like you can't wait to get Diddy Kong and like wait to see if Crush doesn't really work. You get to like stick that stuff. You get to like be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna run up and grab it. Like you can't be scared yeah. of like the banana. I mean, you have to be cautious around it. But you can't just like be afraid of it a little bit. Alright, I don't think that yeah, was... Yeah, uh, that was probably supposed to be a PK fire. Yeah. Oh, you try to go for another PK fire. Yeah, I think he's doing a... What's it called? Oh, a wave bounce PK fire. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's actually really cool. And then, like you said, the jumps are up there. So I'm using PK for to try to catch landing. Because the move doesn't have that much lag uh, at the end. The startup pretty high though. I also moved here, so it doesn't go very far. Nice tech chase, but he didn't get the tipper of the... Uh, oh, that's really nice. And that was that was actually really smart, too, because uh, the Diddy's off stage and he tries to barrel, so just get hit by one of the multi-hits of the, the PK Thunder. Yeah, Lucas is compared to Ness's. Lucas just sends in the direction it's traveling, uh, whereas Ness's just pops up, unless it hits with the tail. The problem with Lucas though, which is why you don't see him use PK Thunder that much, is there's a lot of lag in here. Ooh, an SPF messing up the combo. Uh, oh, but Banana forward smash doesn't quite get it though. Yeah, that was a completely uncharged forward smash, so it's not going to close quite as early. But slight charge up smash, I'm still not going to do it. God, thank you, God. Ooh. But uh, from the opposite side, and it will do it. Wow. Yeah, I think he might be out of the opposite direction. But there, there wasn't any thunder, so I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he expected it to be up smash or something, or wanted to go like towards the stage. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people sometimes, when they're in like a panic, they'll they'll want to go towards the stage yeah. where they feel safe. Based on looking very uh, confused after that match, really. So he's gonna switch to Mario and run it back. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this Mario, but I know his brother has a Mario, so maybe they both play him. Immediately gets hit by the banana. Ooh, an SPF goes for the savage combos. Yeah. He's like, you know Mario. Oh, he rolls right into the jab, too. I don't think... Yeah, I think we went Mario to try to cape the banana because he was figuring that the reason he was losing the matchup is because he was kept getting hit by banana. Yeah. But like you said, it's not just because of banana. It's what you do with it and against it. Yeah. Because if you just like run up and cape the banana and he reads it, you can just throw it upwards and like punish it. Now, so now base runs at that percent where up throw will. Ooh, that was really smart. Yeah, he read uh, that SPF would really want to go straight to ledge and just put it there and between him and the ledge. Because uh, the main thing with Diddy Kong's recovery is it's like a. Ooh, that was bad, yeah. Yeah, that was. That's 
straight up. Did your recovery is mainly like a 50-50. Uh, he can either go straight to ledge or like kind of zig around it. I think base run feels a little bit better now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the edge guard was definitely what he needed to get back in the set. Yeah, now he's got momentum. He's got the percent lead. Like, that was a good spot dodge. And, oh man, I almost got him. The SBF uh, answering back with these down close. Uh, base ring trying to go for very hard reads to close out the stock, but I'm not sure if they're necessary. If anything, it seems like it's just letting SBF get back into this. Yeah. Like, again, like right there. Like, SBF had banana, but he's charging off smash, but he finally gets it. He finally gets one of the reads. Yeah. And uh, SBF doesn't look too happy about that. Uh, Usually, if a opponent reads you like that, it usually just gets to you, like, because you gotta think, like, I knew he wanted to do that, like, I knew he wanted me to do that, and then I did, so, like, it, it confuses you, it makes you think, like, what you're thinking isn't safe. Uh, not sure if we're gonna see, uh, SPF switch to Luigi, uh, can you, like, confirm that Ren's gonna stay on Mario and then switch to Luigi? Yeah. How is the Mario-Luigi matchup? Is it in Luigi's favor? Um, or it used to be, right? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's even, but I might be wrong on that. It's kind of silly because they can like near each other out of their combos if yeah. they don't do them correctly. But Mario can just do a down throw uppy, which is uh, guaranteed from like zero to like forty or something. Like that. It does decent damage too. Yeah. I think uh, I think he's gonna switch to to Luigi. Yeah. yeah. I think he's probably more comfortable in this matchup, and base ran kind of like shaking his head like. Like yeah, because that's how the uh, character kind of picks work, really. Yeah. The person who uh, wins has to lock in the character first, so if you kind of pick someone in game two, then you gotta kind of stick with your kind of pick character. Yeah. I go for the double up smash, trying to get there, dodge it. Mace Ren trying to do, did a fair right there. Yeah, one of the main things uh, about having a secondary is being familiar with a lot of matchups. And if you have a secondary just for like specific characters, and you miss game three scenario like this, you end up against someone like Luigi, which is really weird, right? And yeah. something like that will happen. Yep, you'll try to do down throw up there with Mario and get there out of it. Because he's not used to doing that job. SPF yeah. really likes to do those down throw tornadoes, even this patch. Uh, it's pretty much had the air dodge to get out of it. And yeah. if he can start conditioning you to do it air dodges when he does down throw, he can get like, sure stuff like down throw up here. Which actually does work, and uh, kills around like 90 or so, if I were to guess. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But. Uh, it depends, because uh, it, it's actually really weak in the air. It does like yeah, a lot of damage. Yeah, it's a lot weaker. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, but it's, really, it's actually a lot weaker. But it probably kill if you threw more like 90 ish. Yeah. Depending on character, of course. And base run trying to slow the tone of the game down, uh, using fireballs on the platform. Probably just trying to think it out. Get another hard read up smash. He's like SBF get back to uh, neutral with these down bees a lot. I'd like to see him adapt to that, like hold shield. Well, that's not the direction you wanted him to send, but Luigi's down smash is. Uh, so that's kind of kind of a weird angle. It sends like the opposite way of where he actually kicks. And uh, base run not going for edge guard is really enough. Uh, I don't like. I don't know if he come back. Yeah. Like, and now SBF has stage control. Yeah. SBF going for an edge guard, though. Not quite going to work out, though. The second down there is probably a little greedy. And the game is pretty even, though. Uh, any, Mar any Mario Smash attacks will close it out. Uh, and base friend letting out, like, a noise or anger. At yeah, that. disgruntled. Yeah, because if he up smash earlier, would they definitely hit him out of that grab? Yeah. It's kind of like a you won't kind of thing, where, like. Yeah. Someone's charging a smash, if you run up and grab them, like, you can get smashed, fully charged, which is why you see that happen sometimes. You're like, how did that guy get hit by that smash? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be it. Wow, one hit of the, the Cyclone set him just straight down. Yeah. <laughs> On Smashville, that's gonna kill so early. Yeah, because with Smashville, uh, it has, like, a lower, like, bottom. Or higher. Or technically, higher, yeah. technically. The bottom's really high. And, uh, I think Mario can't really come back, though, from that low. Especially yeah. without a second jump. He might have been able to live on Battlefield if he saved his jump. Yeah, because Mario, the, the main way he recovers is 
because he has like uh because jump up he covers a pretty decent amount of distance and he has really good aerial mobility yeah so he can usually get the horizontal distance he needs just by uh moving in the air yeah and then any of the verticals just from jump up he and he has wall jump too 